So for your materials, you'll have two pieces of either brown or, or dark orange felt, um, two leaves, one yellow, one burgundy, an orange pumpkin, and the four corresponding embroidery threads and a needle. So to start, we're going to put our decorations on one of the pieces. So we'll start with the pumpkin, put that right in the middle, and then we are going to put our orange embroidery thread on the needle. Okay, once you have it on there, we're going to knot the end. I like to do a double or a triple. And then you can do it any way you want. I'm just going to whip stitch it. So I'm going to start from the back. So that's where the knot will anchor. I'm just going to start anywhere I want. And then just go in on the pumpkin, out on the background, and then just whip stitch that all the way around like this. So just in on the pumpkin and out on the background. And then once you do that all the way around, I'll show you how to tie off. Okay, so now that you have whip stitched around the entire pumpkin, this was my last one going up into the pumpkin. I'm gonna go into the background, then I'm gonna flip it over and into the closest piece of orange here, I'm gonna go in through it and then do that one more time. And before I pull that loop all the way through, I'm going to stick my needle right in there to create the knot. And then I'm gonna do that once more, sticking it through that stitch one more time. And before the loop closes up, creating that knot. And then you just snip off that excess. You can always run it too, like just catching a little bit of the back. You can run it through. That way you won't have the thread coming out on the side on you. And then you just snip that. Okay, now that we've completed the pumpkin, we're going to do both of the leaves in the same way, just using the corresponding embroidery floss. Okay, now that you have the decorations on the front, we're going to put the two pieces together. So you'll place them right on top of each other like that. And then we're gonna stitch a whip stitch all the way down doesn't matter the top or the bottom. So start with your needle in between the two layers to anchor it with the knot. And just make sure that's tucked away in there. And then going in about half an inch down, just keep whip stitching across the entire top, just like that. Okay, once you've whip stitched across the entire top and tied it off, we're going to knot our embroidery floss once more. And then we're going to start on the bottom. Once again, going between the layers to anchor our knot in there. Pushing the thread down in so you won't see it. And then whip stitch this long side. Okay, and then we're on to the final step, which is joining it to make a circle. So you're just gonna take it and it should, one angle should go one way and the other should correspond to that. So then you're just gonna hold them together while you whip stitch them together. So you'll go, you have it on this side to start. So now we'll go for a stitch on the opposite side and you'll see it pull together and then just continue doing that all the way down into the one side and up through the other until you get to the top. And then you tie off on the top and then just bury your needle inside between the two layers. And once you pull it out, you can just snip very close so you won't be able to see the thread there. And that's it. You've made your cup cozy.